Hey everybody, Dean Rinker, Keller Williams Realty here with an August 2022 real estate market update for the greater Sacramento area. Hey, the question on a lot of people's minds these days is, are we in a housing bubble? Or are we coming, are we coming up on one? Anything like uh, 2008 through 2012? Well, I'm going to share that uh, with you in a second. So I'm going to share my screen, show you some real interesting things here that I think you will find fascinating. So let's buzz through this so we don't take a whole lot of time up. So let's get right into the stats. I want to show you some interesting things. Uh, this is Sacramento region housing market. This is Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado, and Yolo counties. This stats, these stats that I'm going to show you, and uh, a lot of information I get is from our local uh, um, famous kind of guy, uh, appraiser here in the Sacramento area named Ryan Lundquist. He runs Sacramento Appraisal Blog, and he always has phenomenal stats for the market. So I just want to point out a few things on this list. By the way, this whole uh, graphic is in my email. So what I want to show you here in the Sacramento region, what uh, the median price has done over the past year from July 21 to July 22. And notice a six, almost a six and a half percent increase in values. Understand we are still seeing uh, healthy home prices. And the reason is, is we still have very little supply. And even though interest rates have been going up a bit, we still have high demand. Things aren't as crazy as they've been for the last couple of years, which is actually good. Buyers can actually get into a property now. So that's a positive thing. So we can keep the, the real estate market going, uh, moving along. Another stat here I want to show you is the number of sales. Notice that the number of sales from last July uh, versus this July has down about a third. So uh, what we're seeing a lot of that is interest rates that have gone up, especially when they were hovering around six, a little over six uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, that's settled down a little bit, but we are seeing fewer sales right now. And part of that is seasonal. As we get out of summer into fall and winter, we start to see a slowdown. That's a seasonal thing. It's very normal. And that just means the number of people aren't, uh, not as many people are moving at the time. Months of supply. All this means is uh, the way you calculate a bunch of months of supply is you say if, if there are no more homes that were to come on the market from now on, how long would it take to sell the existing supply on the market? And what's happening now is it used to be a little under a month. This is a month of supply. Last year, less than a month's worth of supply. Today, almost two and a half, 160% increase roughly in months of supply. That just means more uh, homes that are sitting. Average days on the market, this is good too. Uh, or not, nothing bad, I should say. Uh, we, a year ago, it was taking about two weeks to sell a home on average. This year, uh, it's up uh, another week, so about three weeks. Understand we're still seeing homes that'll sell in a matter of days if they're priced right, marketed correctly, and, uh, and, and have desirable features. So uh, nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to point, uh, do a five-point focus here on what's going on with the market. Whether you're thinking of selling, buying, or not, or you're going to stay put, you'll want to know this information. So understand, home values are still increasing and are expected to continue to increase, although at a slower pace than we've seen over the past two or three years. So instead of going up 15, 20, 25% a year, as we've seen uh, the last couple of years with COVID, we, uh, most experts agree we're going to settle around the, uh, hopefully, the at least over the next uh, couple of years, around the average of 2 to 3% appreciation, which is kind of a normal real estate market, although we really haven't seen a normal real estate market in the last 15 or so years. Uh, but uh, some people expect that, or some uh, entities expect we're going to see much higher appreciation. Uh, but pretty much everybody agrees that we won't see any significant decrease in values, uh, at least not anytime soon. Now, you're hearing on the news various parts of the country are being affected. And I'm not saying people don't have to lower their prices because sometimes people put them on too high uh, and values will be adjusted. But we're not expected at least the experts are saying we're not expecting to see any kind of major decline in values. Certainly nothing like we saw back uh, in uh, the late 2000s with the foreclosure crisis. Point number two, the supply of homes for sale is still low. We're, we still haven't seen this big thrust of homes coming on the market. COVID slowed that down a lot, which created the demand because there was low supply. But with the higher rates, we're still seeing buyers start to come back in the market now and, and get up there because the interest rates are not as crazy as they were, let's say, a few weeks ago when they were a little above six. Now they're getting into the fours and fives. And again, of course, that depends on your or credit record, credit report, and amount down, that kind of thing. Point number three, rates will continue to fluctuate. Most people expect them to hover around five to six percent uh, when, the, when the dust settles. We shall see. Point number four, the recession. If we were to go into a recession, and of course, we've seen differing opinions on that, but understand that does not mean decrease in home value. As a matter of fact, four out of the last six recessions, we've seen an increase 
in a home value price or home values. So it's kind of interesting. There's a graph in my email or a graphic that will show you that. Check it out. And lastly, it's still a great time to make a move if you're thinking about it. Buyers are not having to pay over list price as much and uh, sellers are still benefiting because we're still seeing the higher prices. So these are the five points here. Uh, already said these. So the question is, are we in a housing bubble? Well, based on the current statistics, not just these, but many others, the high buyer demand, the low housing supply, and this is all despite uh, the rising interest rates, the answer still appears to be no, at least not for now. And, and we're not seeing any major signs that we're going to be headed for a bubble. Now, keep in mind, we never know what's going to happen. Nobody predicted COVID and that we'd see the hottest real estate market in history. So we don't know what's going to happen, but at least as right now, even with the rates going up, even with the, the negative news we see in the national news, uh, we're still seeing a fairly healthy real estate market. Also understand when you hear national averages of 15% uh, decline and or a 15% cancel rate for home sellers around the, or home deals around the country, understand a national average really has nothing to do with us in the Sacramento area. Real estate, just like weather, is local. We don't say the average temperature in the country is 75 degrees. That doesn't have anything to do with us here in Sacramento when we're at 105. So uh, uh, that's it for now. I will see you next month. Check out the articles in the uh, in the newsletter. And uh, I'm going to exit my screen here and just let you know if you have any questions about the market, home values, curious about what your market's home's worth, reach out to me, 916-508-5353. Or you can email me uh, questions about the market, buying, selling, anything. Happy to help. We'll see you next month. Hope this was informational. Bye-bye.